touch points. We've already mentioned the 2016 CX 5S updates at its Los Angeles Auto Show unveiling, but it's worth repeating that most of them focus on the cabin and things that the driver and passengers interact with most. In general, the refreshed CX 5S interior details are classier. There are nicer materials and tasteful accent trim on the dashboard and console. The armrests are more comfortable. Thoughtful touches include padding where one's knee might rest against the side of the center console when, say, exercising our test car's 0.81 grams of lateral grip on a fun-to-drive, twisty road. Stash space. Check. Mazda switched to an electric parking brake frees up real estate on the console where the conventional handbrake once lived. There are two USBs and an auxiliary jack in an easily accessible open storage bin beneath the center stack. Another console cubby is right-sized for the car's key fob, push-button start is standard, or other small items. But the big change is the adoption of the new Mazda Connect infotainment system on all but the base model. It uses an Audi MMI-like multifunction control wheel on the console, so there's less need to lean forward to access some of the old infotainment display's hard buttons. The touchscreen itself grows from 5.8 to 7.0 inches this year, making everything easier to read. Our Grand Touring test car also sported supportive, comfortable, and gorgeous parchment leather seats, a grippy leather-wrapped steering wheel, and simple, easy to use climate control knobs and buttons. Now if only the volume knob were on the driver's side of the console and the backup camera display had dynamic trajectory lines, the setup would be just about perfect. The CX, 5S gauges are rather blah, though, and would be more engaging with higher contrast and larger, more interesting fonts. This is a tiny nit, we know.